Hey friends, it's Sarah from Gilkey's Limited Adventures back with another Operation Christmas Child video and today is all about the dinosaur. I'm packing a dinosaur themed box for a little boy ages two to four and this one should be fun because watch this fun toy. I found this at Walmart for under five dollars and I just thought it would be the cutest little toy for a two to four year old boy. I just love it. It's adorable. I had something like this when I was a kid except it was a kitty cat and it meowed and it did flips like this and I just was like when I saw this I was like yes. I need to give this to someone since I loved mine so much as a little girl. One of the first things I like to do is take all the little tags off things because nobody wants to play with this dinosaur with this little tag on. There we go. Nice and cute. I'll give you a close-up so you can hear them. <laughs> you might have also just <laughs> caught a glimpse of a little cat ear in there too because she's very interested as well. Okay, let's get started. I pack these pencil pouches with all the school supplies that I give and I'm going to show you that really quickly. If you watch any of my other videos, you'll have seen these before, but I'll show you real quick. They get a rubber band to the back is a pad of paper, a few of these smaller coloring books. They come from Oriental Trading, some different ones. I like this small size because they fit nice in the bottom and they don't get um, wrinkled or bent or anything. So I like those. And then I always give our picture and our letter on the back. I get these printed at Walgreens. I actually made a video where I read this so if you're interested to know what we write um, you could definitely check that out and also um, I like these because you don't have to handwrite them all and you can give a nice message on the back so um, I like those. And then I like to do a variety of stickers so he's going to get some Superman stickers, he's going to get these Rain, uh, grassland animals and a little piece of paper that he can put those right on. That's kind of fun. And then I do the same thing with the nativity. I got these little blue pieces of paper and they can he can make the nativity right on there. And then he's got some Arctic animals as well. Same thing. And then just some fun Superman stickers or superhero stickers. That gets rubber band on the back of the pencil pouch. So I'll show you what's in here real quick. They're all the same at our house, except sometimes I like to do like fun colors for different boxes. So this is a dinosaur box for this little boy. It's more of a mini theme. Some things are dinosaurs and some things are just fun toys for a little boy. But I chose a green pouch and a green string backpack. Every box that leaves our house gets a string backpack with the idea of everything from the box will be able to fit in this backpack if they want to use this box for other things or if their parents want to use the box for other things. I think that a uh, plastic shoe box is a gift in itself so that's why I like to use those. And then so what I do with these is the first thing that goes in is the string backpack inside the pencil pouch and I pack these um, early in the year and then we have friends and family come over and help us pack shoe boxes with the goal of 60 shoe boxes a year and what I tell our family and friends is everybody gets a pencil pouch because then I know they're going to get all of these items and a wow item. So a pencil pouch and a wow item and then they can go through our shoe box room. I'll insert a little uh, video here so you can see what that looks like and they can just pick whatever toys they want and people sometimes even bring toys over and they pack their own things. So um, that's fun too. Now also inside of this pencil pouch is going to be some colored pencils and some crayons. I like to add a toothbrush and a comb and I know these aren't school supplies but this ensures that everybody's going to get a toothbrush and a comb that goes in the back. We have a little bit of a green theme going on here. A pencil sharpener and a little fun eraser and then some little erasers. So this is a little crab and that's super cute. And then of course some pencils and pens. That is what is in my pencil pouches and attached to my pencil pouches. Like I said, everyone who gets a box from our house is gonna have all of those same things. Just, 
this is going to go right in the bottom of the box. Now that does take up a good amount of the box, but I feel like these school supplies and coloring books are just a really essential thing for every shoe box. So I think that's fine. And then we have a little bit of gap here for anything that's a little bit bigger. So we're going to start with this little gap right here. And I'm going to add this fun tropical cup. I can see some dinosaurs walking around in here, but of course, like I said, not everything's gonna be a dinosaur theme in this box, so this is just a fun tropical cup. And we're going to fill this with this soft, squishy little dinosaur. So he's got a nice orange dinosaur. And I'm gonna show you the theme, the shirt that made this theme. We have this nice, fun, blue dinosaur shirt, a little T-Rex riding a wave, it says Thrill Seeker. So this cute little blue shirt was kind of the start of this dinosaur theme in my mind. And I thought this little orange dinosaur would go perfect with that. And what little boy doesn't want to have a little stuffy too? So that's great. Even though this fun walking dinosaur might be the wow item, I thought he needed a little stuffy too because this is, um, it's soft, but it also has a hard middle. So this one he can really squeeze and sleep with. So this is his cute little stuffy for the box. So we'll stick this here. So I'm going to put this little stuffy in this cup and I'm going to set it down the side of the box where there's more room. Now I always like to start with the harder things if I can so then the soft things can kind of go on top. So um, we're going to go with the dinosaur things first. So we got these little cars. If you shopped at all on clearance at Walmart this year, these little cars were a really great price on clearance at Walmart. So, and they're the kind, um, they just, they just roll super fun for a little boy. So we'll put these in there. And then these were also on clearance at Walmart this year, a really good price. They're just tiny little dinosaurs. I love to give two, three, four of something so he can play together or he can play with friends, a brother and sister. So a few of these little dinosaur figures. Better get this guy in here because he is kind of harder so we don't want to squish him too much. And thankfully, he, you press the top and bottom to get him to make his noise. So if I put him on his side, I don't think that he will get pressed in packing. That is always something to worry about. There was one time my husband and I um, took all of our boxes to the church to drop them off in November. And we could hear a fire engine in the back honking and blaring. So we knew the weight of those boxes was pressing it. And by the time it got to the child, I'm sure the batteries were dead, but it was a really cute item anyway. So I don't want that to happen with this. Even though this is cute, I do want this guy to still walk by the time this child gets it. Oh, I better put this in since it's kind of a flat toy. So if you shopped at Walmart clearance, you guys probably got some of these poppets. I think these were like two or even one dollar they went on clearance down to. So that's just a cute little dinosaur poppet. I'm gonna put this, if I squeezed him, <laughs> I'm gonna put this in down since it's flat. Put this guy right here. I just don't want him to be pressed on in the box. And then I keep pressing this button. <laughs> All right. Now, I thought we we're going to have to fly into Dinosaur Island with these cute little airplanes. These are the kind that you, you, you don't pull them back. You push them forward and then they keep going. So these are super cute. A great toy for a little boy. And did you see the they 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 spin the little front spin when you push them forward like that. So these are a super cute um, toy for a little boy. I got these on Amazon quite a few years ago, so I don't have a link or anything. But I they were in a, a mix of all different kinds of little vehicles. I want to make sure that nothing hard is at the top because I don't want anything to get broken if these get stacked. Okay, now we have two more little vehicles to put in. These are just some cute little cars. He's definitely gonna have a lot of toys to play with. I did get a little globe for him, a little bouncy ball. It's also a squeezy ball. It's nice and squeezy. I'm gonna put that in the cup too. 
And then I'm not sure how you, much you'll be able to see this. I want to keep it in the wrapper so it doesn't get sticky or anything, but it is like kind of like one of those water dinosaurs. It's a ring, and actually if you squeeze it, it lights up. So I absolutely love these light up rings that we have. It's one of my favorite toys. And um, my mom finds these, I think she gets them on Amazon, just light up rings. They come in animals, they come in just ring, you know, fancy rings. Um, they're rubber and they, you squeeze them and they light up. And what I like is then you can also squeeze them and they turn off so they don't just keep going and going. Okay, the last couple things are very soft. We got some green striped socks and some blue striped socks for this little boy. Put his socks next to his buttons so you can't press them on. Okay, and then, the, oh, <laughs> we got a cat. So me suggested I put this a, li a little cat tree or something next to me, a perch, so the cats would stay out of my business because when I'm doing these videos, they're very interested. So that worked out really good. This is Vinny. Hey, Vinny. Hi, little boy. Okay, so we have the next little thing is actually a Okay, oops, it's actually a Frisbee. Um, it comes in this little pouch and it opens up so he can play that, but it actually is also advertised as a fan. So I thought that could be very um, beneficial, you know, if this goes to a box with a hot climate. So, um, and it folds up really small and goes right in this little pouch. I just got these from Amazon. I really, really like them. They're so flat, it's almost like a freebie item in the box. Okay, now we're going to put the shirt on top. Cute little T-Rex shirt. Yeah, this box is nice and full, but it's not overly full. I have to be no problems getting that lid on at all. Nice and colorful. See that little dinosaur so cute in there. Very, very cute. I forgot a prayer card for this one, so I'll have to go downstairs and get one of those, but we got my follow, follow your box labels, so we'll know exactly where these go once, um, once they're shipped out. If you haven't seen the video I did of a tour of our shoebox room, go back and try to find that one because that'll show you the map that we have downstairs and um, It'll show you all the different countries that our boxes went to. So I always love to find out where they go to. And I especially like to tell our family and friends who help pack because then you can say, hey, you remember the box you packed at our house? It went to Jamaica or it went to Georgia or um, you know something like that. So we got our label on. Now, I actually learned this um, on YouTube and I watched some videos, but they put a piece of tape around on a tape machine like this at the processing center and it goes right around the middle. So when you're putting a label on, you want to try to put it down towards one end so it doesn't get taped over it. And they, they ask you not to put tape on this little barcode because it's easier for them to scan. That's why I just put four pieces of tape around there. So little tidbits today. <laughs> I like to use these colorful um, rubber bands and just like I did inside, it doesn't matter what kind of rubber band you use, you just want to keep that lid on as it travels until they get the tape on. So um, here we go. This is a fun sort of mini themed dinosaur box for a little boy, two to four. I think he will love it. It was fun to pack. I'm excited for him to get that little dinosaur that makes the noise and walks because it just makes just reminds me of when I was a little girl and I had a little white kitty that did the same thing. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited about that. Thanks for coming along with us. I do another ministry charity video or some kind of good video every Sunday just because I think that it's great to spread goodness in this world and kindness and love. Thanks so much for coming along today and we'll see you next week.